Yeah. Right. Which yeah, is best of pamphlet? to the 19th Annual Crosswind Alumni Scholarship Reception. It is a testament to the Crosswind community that we are here again this year, despite a year of uncertainty and a global pandemic. We're here to award scholarships to high school seniors who attended Crosswind Elementary School. The four high school seniors seated here today will each receive a $500 scholarship to the school of their choosing. As elementary educators, we don't often get to hear how our former students have excelled since they left us way back in the fifth grade. The alumni scholarships give us an opportunity for our teachers to see their hard work and see their former students grow and to develop into the successful and productive young people before you today. We are excited to be here and to continue this great tradition. A special thank you to all of our family members in attendance today who our scholarships are named after. The impact of Dawn, Sheila, Helen, and David continues to live on through our Crosswind community and through these amazing young people. Congratulations, Noah, Anna, Brian, and Kaylee. Your futures are bright, and we look forward to hearing about the great things you will accomplish. You make Crosswind proud. And remember, once an eagle, always an eagle. Go Eagles! 
At this time, turning over the program to Alice Fleming, our music teacher. Good afternoon. It is an honor to come and to give you just a little bit of history of how we came to um, honor our teachers and how the project for uh, providing a scholarship for our seniors started. As you know, well, as many of us may not know, in 1993, we started here with just kindergarten through fourth grade. And we wanted to embrace the eagle, our symbol, in teaching our kids to soar, in teaching our kids to work together and to be civically minded. So we participated in com community activities where we met the needs of communities, disasters, and we even reached out to uh, families in the community to give, to give them help. So as you know, we are a tight-knit community. We always stepped up to the needs. Well, there, down the road, we started, it was a project that was called Project Graduation for High School. Um, from 93 down to year 1998, when the first uh, sponsor in 1999, Joan Donahue came and she said, look, we need to have a junior beta club. And then deciding to start that junior beta club, we uh, had members from the middle school to come over and to induct that junior beta club, along with the student council representative. They worked together, and mostly just the fifth grade class, they decided the whole system was about and they decided let's participate in project graduation and affect our graduates, our Eagles, who have matriculated through the uh, Cognitive School System and they're going to graduate, let's do something to uh, help them. So at that time, I think it was in either uh, maybe uh, 99, 2000, 2001, they simply went on graduation on senior time with the fifth grade and they participated in some uh, activities, the Gibby Day, the Jeans Day, uh, a 70th Day. wanted to do something special in their memory to keep their legacy going. And so at that point, they decided, let's make our scholarship special. And they decided to come and have a special school of uh, here at the school, honoring our teachers and honoring our uh, graduates, our students as well. As we proceeded on, as you know, Once an eagle, always an eagle. We are here to serve our community. We're about putting back into the hands of our graduates, and I know that they do not forget us either. Thank you so much, and uh, congratulations. Thank you, Mrs. Fleming. Um, I do just need a quick 
just a quick story about Mr. Featherston. Uh, my oldest son was, was home and I, I going through all the essays and we had so many great essays submitted. It was a really competitive process. And I said to him, I was like, look at these essays and, and look at the quality of the, the essays that were submitted. And he said, gosh, I don't know who this Mr. Featherston teacher is. At this time, I'm going to introduce Melanie Stedler. She's one of our fifth grade students, and she's going to present two of our scholarships. Good afternoon, everyone. Our first scholarship winner is Brian Gore. Brian will be attending Stanford University in the fall and will study entrepreneurship and graphic design. His fifth grade teacher, Janet Church, had this to say. Brian is a hard worker and dedicated student with a compassionate heart. His kindness towards other classmates was unsurpassed. Brian continues to show his, to show his kindness and compassion to everyone he meets. When asked how Crossland prepared him for his future, Brian wrote, Crossland prepared me for my future through the lessons of resilience and perseverance. I learned that the actions have consequences, hard work pays off, and sometimes you lose. I also began to understand the importance of helping others. Through Mr. Featherston, I experienced firsthand the impact one person can make. Please join me in congratulating Mr. Brian Board. Our next scholarship winner is Anna Claire Odom. Anna Claire will be attending the University of Mississippi in the fall and will study a communication science, sciences and disorders. Her young life mentor, Brittany Stringer, had this to say. Anna Claire makes me feel needed and worthy, which in turn makes them feel and want to be their best. Anna Claire's self-awareness and listening skills alone make her an incredible leader. She is not afraid to step out of her comfort zone and face adversity. When asked how Crossman prepared her for her future, Anna Claire wrote, To me, knowing how to approach differences and problems in life is a very good thing to know, and I happened to learn this at Crossman. Ultimately, Crossland got me ready for the real world in ways that I have never thought of before. They were the building blocks of my whole life. Please join me in congratulating Ms. Ms. Anna Claro. I will now pass the mic over to Gracie Stanisky. Our next scholarship winner is Noah Stewart. Noah will be attending LSU in the fall and will study biochemistry. His high school math teacher, Larissa McCoy, wrote this about him. Noah Stewart is a rare type of student who combines exceptional to learn. Noah is one of the most kind-hearted and generous persons I have ever had the pleasure of knowing. He has a passion for learning and a drive to succeed in life. When asked how Crossman prepared him for his future, Sarah wrote, my time at Crossland Elementary also helped my shape my personality, indirectly shaping my extracurricular path later in life. I developed my love for sports and physical fitness in PE class. My fondness for science in my various classes over the years and my affinity for leadership during my time on student council and as president of Junior Beta Club. Please join me in congratulating Mr. Noah Stewart. winner is Kaylee Scoggins. Kaylee will be attending the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga in the fall to become a nurse practitioner. Her high school teacher Matthew Kelly wrote this about her. Kaylee is an outstanding individual who excels in both her academic and personal pursuits. She is someone who always challenges herself academically and takes pride in all of her work. Not only is she very dependable and a hard worker, but she is also very honest and respectful student. When asked how Crossland prepared her for her future, Kaylee wrote, I believe Crossland is also responsible for my interest in mental health. And in college, I hope to get my minor in psychology. I'm going to college to become a nurse practitioner, and I look forward to using my own personal experience to help children in the way Crossland helped me. Once an eagle, always an eagle. Please join me in congratulating Ms. Kaylee Scott.
after all of those wonderful words that uh, from this, uh, Aaron and Miss Fleming and our wonderful students here, I don't think I could add anything else to that. So all I'll do is uh, invite our students here. Uh, if you'll turn and see those posters behind you, all y'all are welcome to take those home with you. And I invite everyone to come join us in our outside classroom for some lemonade and cookies. Thank y'all so much for coming. Uh, it means a lot to us to be able to give back to our community and to our kiddos. So thank y'all. Well, Collierville Schools, it's fabulous to see that the deep connection not only uh, continues from elementary but into middle school, but also into high school. There is a deep, deep connection throughout all areas of Collierville Schools, so thank you for being part of our family. So in closing, just want to give a shout out to Brian Bortz, Anna Odom, Noah Stewart, and Kaylee Scrogan. Congratulations as the Crosswind Elementary Alumni Scholarship recipients. Take care, guys. Again, see you tonight for the Business Board of Education at 6 p.m. in the Pickler Auditorium. If you are unable to join us, please visit our district Facebook page where we will be going live. Take care, and we'll see you soon.